My friends, there is so much to eat in New York City. But when it comes to iconic delights, you truly haven't experienced the Big Apple until you've had a bagel. So today I'm taking you to three different locations, showcasing its dynamic tastiness and how each place has its own experience just for you. First up, I'm taking you to a New York City institution, Russ and Daughters. It's located in the Lower East Side on Houston Street. What started as a pushcart has now turned into a fourth generation landmark shop, serving up flavours of old New York for the existing and new community. Ross and his daughters have imparted their amazing Jewish flavours into a range of eats, including pickled herring, dried fruits and snacks. But what really stands out at this family run affair are their options for bagels. Not only do they have a variety of hand selected cream cheeses, got to love that scallion option, but you can also choose from a variety of cured fish. As the staff say behind the counter, if the employees are still eating the food after working here for 30 years, well, you can definitely trust the flavours from within. This is especially well supported because they make it in front of your eyes. The way they slice the fish alone is simply therapeutic. It's like artistry watching that fold like a ribbon straight onto the bagel. For me, places like Russ and Daughters showcase the history of cuisine of New York City. They defy so many odds but stay true to their core values of their product and personality. Ah, and the fact that every time you come the bagels are wicked, it would be unfair not to include them on this bagel tour. The next stop on our excursion involves a spot that mixes a bit of Montreal with New York City, Black Sea. With a couple of spaces through the city, my go-to is on First Avenue. Just like Russ and Daughters, Black Seed make their own bagels. The interesting thing here is though, they make it right in front of your eyes. The entertainment is priceless as it is knowing the fresh warm bagel you're about to bite into is legit. From multi-grain right through to multi-everything, you will find your classic combinations mixed with some seriously hashtag next level options like the beat locks. If it were me, you would have to go with the everything bagel. It's coated in garlic chips, among other awesomeness, and you fill it with a classic smoked salmon and cream cheese option. Made by hand and cooked with wood, black seed bagels are poached in a mixture of water and honey, something they do in Montreal. When it bakes, the honey gives it a little crunchy texture with a golden shiny skin. Making over 1,000 bagels over the weekend days is phenomenal. I, for one, appreciate the artisanal effect. There's a reason why New York City bagels are regarded as the best, and it simply comes down to the produce. The water is phenomenal. It leads to amazing things, not only in bagels, but also in pizza dough. There is actually a science behind it. New York water is low in calcium and magnesium, which makes the dough much softer, enjoyable, and not a stale-like experience. There are plenty of things you can put on a bagel, Everything bagel, just locks, but a true New York City bagel is just that. Bagel and cream cheese. So simple. And in order to get that, you don't go to any brick and mortar. If you're working and living here in the city, you go to a push cart, you grab your cup of coffee, and you get a bagel with cream cheese, or also known as a smear. What has been a popular breakfast staple defies the New York City way of life. A bagel has become famous with a coffee in hand and the push carts that are seen throughout the streets deliver them in a cheap and no-nonsense manner. You're always catching that brown or white paper bag carrying a wrapped up bagel in aluminium foil. Let's not be shy though, look how much cheese they put on these things. They call it a schmear for a reason. I think it could be smear, but schmear is the American way. Three different options, three completely different experiences, but they all have one thing in common, the taste of New York.